Hey, my friends. So that last video I did where uh, we were comparing the miles per gallon and efficiency and also sound levels of having the rooftop tent on and the off-road tires on and off. That was really cool. If you haven't seen that video, go click in the top right corner. I'll put a link up there. But also uh, after that, I was kind of thinking about some other test cases I'd like to see. You know, one, instead of just driving kind of stupidly in basic hybrid mode, um, you know, what if we really optimize the car's settings, lower the suspension down, go to eco mode on the climate control, really kind of hold our battery for the optimal moments when we're going as slow as possible to really maximize our efficiency. Like, how much can we get from that? How, how efficient can we really get kind of hypermiling the settings of the vehicle? And then on the flip side, what if we essentially, uh, you know, go back to hybrid mode and just disable the battery basically and you know how much does that battery function give us both to turn the engine off on downhills and also recuperating energy on downhills or deceleration and then using that energy uh, to go ahead and be more efficient if we basically just kill the battery how bad does it get what are we really getting from the hybrid system let's find out all right so we're going to go into the settings my car individual drive mode we're going to push all of this over to the pure end of things. And actually, we're going to turn the steering force back up to high because I appreciate that. Powertrain characteristics, we're going to leave on pure. Um, what that does is basically it keeps the car in electric power more. Uh, it's more likely. I mean, still, if you stomp your pedal, you're going to get gas. But it's going to stay in pure more. And so essentially, we're going to leave it this way and then control whether we're on battery or not by essentially holding the battery with the hold button. Uh, braking characteristics, we'll move that back to dynamic. Suspension con control, where I'm pure, which is the second lowest setting. Power is actually the lowest setting um, on the suspension, but we're going to make pure, which pure is definitely lower than hybrid. And also we have eco climate, so that turns on when we're in pure mode. Um, and theoretically, that means the climate system uses less power. Um, so we go ahead and close this. And then over here is where we go ahead and hold our battery. Uh, and essentially, so we're going to use the battery power run on electric alone around surface streets and stuff, going through Half Moon Bay, going through Santa Cruz, uh, the slower speed stuff. That's where it's most efficient to use it, where you can get the most miles out of it. And also slower speeds are where using the gasoline engine would be the worst. So it, it, it's a kind of a win-win situation to save your battery and use it for your low speed stuff, not just cruising 70 miles an hour on the highway. Okay, we're gonna go right back out again. As you can see, our battery right over here is like totally depleted. We uh, just got back home from our first lap. And what we're gonna do this time around is we are gonna go back into individual drive mode, we'll go back to hybrid. You can feel the suspension going up there a little bit. Uh, and that also turns off the eco climate. And actually what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go with the powertrain into power mode. Uh, that actually, that makes the engine start. So let me open the garage door. Um, and so that, that keeps the engine on continuously. And then also we're gonna come over here. And so any energy that we regenerate either through deceleration or going downhill, we're gonna hold that in the battery as well. So the battery is held and it's empty. It's gonna slowly regenerate and it's not gonna use it. And so we're basically gonna kind of see how this uh, Volvo XC60 T8 does without the battery. You know, what's, what's the alternative from the hypermiling thing? You know, how, how does it, how does it hoop de mile? Let's, uh, let's find out. Download and do it again.
And here's the data. So on the left here is the normal driving mode uh, from previous testing. And this is just kind of the, the hybrid mode as you just turn on the Volvo XC60. This is the mode it comes up in. Uh, the computer will just kind of automatically burn the battery down over the first eh, 20, 30 minutes of driving, something like that. It doesn't obviously know what's coming, so it doesn't save any of it. Uh, it will recuperate additional electricity during descent and deceleration. Uh, it will also, of course, turn off the internal combustion engine during descent and deceleration, which, of course, burns less fuel and provides extra electricity. So our consumption uh, is actually much higher than the actual battery capacity because, of course, we, re we regenerated almost half the overall battery power that we end up using. Second column here, we hypermile the vehicle by putting it into pure mode. This lowered the suspension down for less wind resistance, turned the AC into eco mode to save power, uh, and also just manually, we essentially press the button to hold the battery once we got on the freeway. So during surface streets and lower speeds, we use the battery, uh, and then cruising the freeway, we turn that off. That doesn't mean that the internal combustion engine was forced to stay on. On the contrary, on downhills and deceleration at freeway, speeds the internal combustion engine still turns off and it regenerates power but basically it wasn't going to use ev power to keep us going at those faster less efficient highway speeds and as you can see here we netted almost three miles per gallon so that's a pretty substantial almost 10 percent bump here by uh, really kind of optimizing the settings here you can see we regenerated more electricity and therefore we consumed more electricity and lastly, on the right, hoop demiling. So uh, we had kind of started with no battery. We told it to hold any energy that we recharged, and we forced the internal combustion engine to always stay on. And we reset essentially the suspension back to the normal hybrid height uh, and the AC mode back to normal as well. Funny thing that I learned is that even in that configuration, it still consumed some electricity. I mean, essentially, it, it didn't use all the electricity we regenerated but it did insist on using some i couldn't keep it from using any at all which was a little frustrating but nonetheless consumption went down to about 27 miles per gallon so compared to the baseline we actually lost about five miles per gallon. That's substantial. That's like a 15% drop by going from the kind of normal mo operating mode to as if we did not have an internal combustion engine at all. Now, of course, we did still have the batteries to carry with us. Uh, so that's an extra 500 pounds-ish, as if you had a couple, two or three extra passengers in the vehicle. Um, but again, also, it, it did use some electricity. So there, there's a little bit of a trade-off there. Uh, and again, while the distance is the same, the duration was slightly longer because we did hit a little bit of traffic because it was later in the day. Uh, I don't think it was a huge, significant difference, but there it is. And there's the results, folks. I hope this was interesting. If you have any questions or any other tests you want to suggest that would be cool to do, please post them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Take care. Oh,